What's going on YouTube? This is SG1 Sports here on the Clemson channel at the Voice of College Football. We're going to preview the 2023 schedule for the Tigers. Of course, schedule just came out last night, so we're going to break it all down. Before we get to 2023, let's look back at 2022. Here was the schedule from last season. You can see uh, an 11-3 record overall, 10-2 in the regular season. But you look back at this schedule and you see, you know, Wake Forest was on the road. Florida State was on the road. Uh, remember that Georgia Tech game it was a little bit close early on. Uh, they played them on the road. Boston College on the road. But really, you know, Notre Dame, Florida State, those were the two tough road games last year. They took care of business at home until they got to the end against South Carolina. Uh, just a really difficult loss there to close out the season, close out the regular season, and potentially keep them out of the college football playoff. But again, when you look at the schedule overall, uh, you know, Notre Dame and South Carolina in the non-conference, uh, it, it really wasn't that bad. Wake Forest, again, and Florida State on the road, the Notre Dame game on the road, but a very manageable schedule. And uh, you look to 2023, it's going to be a little bit tougher, I think. Uh, you know, no divisions anymore, so you're just going to play the eight conference games from however they're scheduled, and the top two teams will go to the ACC championship. But in the non-conference it's, it's very similar to last year. They're going to play Charleston Southern, Florida Atlantic, a couple of easy games there. But you'll flip Notre Dame and South Carolina. So this year, Notre Dame will be at home. You'll play South Carolina on the road. Um, so those are the, the two big non-conference games. And when you play, you know, when you play a, a Power 5 rival, like Clemson plays South Carolina, you know, Florida State plays Florida, and then you still schedule a big non-conference game against another Power 5 team. I realize Notre Dame is not in the Power 5, but... Uh, the same caliber and also the ACC schedules that but you know when they don't play Notre Dame they usually always play a big power five opponent uh, but I, I give a lot of respect to that and I think that's a, a big reason why you know people talk about the nine game conference schedule if the ACC played a nine game conference schedule and you have a team like South Carolina on the schedule already would teams like Clemson play another big non-conference game uh, probably not so that's that's something interesting there and, and one of the, I guess, pros to having an, having an eight-game conference schedule. But you look to 2023 here week by week. All right, this is a tricky game to start off the season. They'll play on Labor Day night on the road at Duke. Uh, Duke is a team that, that finished the season really, I mean, on a high note this past year. They didn't, you know, they didn't get blown out by anyone. They were close in every game. The, the losses that they did have, they were very close. Had some very good wins last year. And I've been looking at this team, kind of breaking down their roster already, uh, going through and doing my rosters, and they've got a, a decent amount coming back. Duke's probably going to be a, a pretty good team this year and a team that uh, maybe I should have considered uh, for my way too early top 25. This is going to be a quality team. You play them on the road, uh, national television here, big game on Labor Day night. Uh, this is going to be, and I say national television, I mean, this, the spotlight will be on this game. There will be no other games at that time. This is a huge opportunity for Duke, and it is a, a tricky, tricky situation for Clemson. Again, uh, this, I think, could be a, a very good game. Not an easy win to start off the season. Uh, Clemson should be the better team, and if they play uh, to, to the level that they are capable of playing, they should win this game, but you never know. I wonder what the, the crowd will be like for Duke. You know, they, Again, they built some momentum last year. That'll be interesting. Uh, but after that, they'll play Charleston Southern, Florida Atlantic. Should be easy wins. And then you go with Florida State here on September 23rd. So they will play them early in the year. Um, and I think a big reason why is, is because the ACC wanted to get this game over with early on because if you finish the regular season and you've got a 12-0 Clemson or a 12-0 Florida State, and the other team is 11-1. The, the loss came to the other team. Or maybe they're both 11-1 at the end of the season. Uh, you know, it, it gives it gives that team that loses a chance to, to climb back up in the rankings. You know, a late season loss perhaps would uh, make it tough on them to get back into the playoff picture. But playing that game early, I think both teams will still be very much alive in the playoff race. Um, I, I feel pretty confident that a one-loss ACC champion will get in the playoff this year, but we'll see how it plays out. Uh, but yeah, Florida State there, September 23rd. Then on the road at Syracuse, a team that has given Clemson fits for whatever reason. So that will not be easy. Looking at the month 
of, of September there. You've got Florida State. That's the marquee matchup. But don't sleep on Duke and Syracuse. Those are going to be tricky games. Next, they go into the month of October with a home game against Wake Forest. No Sam Hartman. You would think Clemson should be in pretty good shape for that one, especially playing at home. Uh, then they get a bye week before back-to-back -back road games. I don't like this if I'm a Clemson fan. Really, this in this three-game stretch, Miami on the road, NC State on the road, and then Notre Dame. I think it'll be very tough for Clemson to come out of those three games without a loss. I mean, again, you know, they should be better than Miami, but that's a road game. And then you have another road game against NC State, who I think could be a, a very quality team this year, probably a top 25 team. And that's a tough place to play. If you get past those two games, then you have to play Notre Dame. And we know Sam Hartman has had some success against this Clemson defense. So that'll be a tough test. Those three games, very tough uh, in a row. And then you have Georgia Tech on the 11th. This is a team that that played a little better towards the end of last year, so that might not be an easy win. you got to face Drake May there on the 18th. Of course, he didn't do a whole lot last year against Clemson. We'll see what happens this time. Good news there is that's a home game for Clemson, so you feel pretty good about it. And then they'll close things out on the road at South Carolina. So all in all, uh, this schedule is actually pretty tough. It's tougher than some of the ones Clemson has had in recent years. Um, maybe that's partially because of, of getting rid of divisions, but uh, you know, Duke on the road, Miami on the road, Syracuse and NC State on the road. Uh, they'll be favored in all those games, but they're all tricky. Those are some, those are tricky matchups there. Uh, Florida State and Notre Dame, the two toughest opponents more than likely are at home. So that's the good news. But then again, they do have to play South Carolina on the road and, and don't forget about again, Wake Forest, North Carolina, uh, just, just a lot of games here that uh, could give Clemson a challenge. They're going to be favored maybe in every single game. But again, a lot of games that uh, will be pretty tough. And it's a, it's a pretty challenging schedule for Clemson in 2023.